Hi, I'm Paul Toll from PaulToll.com and I'm going to show you tonight an updated video of uh, Age of Empires 2 including uh, the Forgotten Empires um, First of all, some website with all kind of cool stuff lots of games, Dust, Amiga, Mizzix games, especially Windows games and I'm going to focus at the moment on uh, the specific game uh, Age of Empires 2 and then the Forgotten uh, Empires uh, expansion or expansion mod So, um First, go to uh, the game page of um, Age of Empires 2. Um, you can find it under uh, Strategy Games, and then you can fi find it under Age of Empires 2: Forgotten Empires. The reason of this specific video is that um, um, the mod has two versions: the installation mod, which uh, uh, uses the installer to uh, install and update uh, the game and uh, manual installation with uh, just uh, replacing files and it seems that the installation of the game that version gives some trouble with uh, with some max with starting up so um, well I made an uh, update of this video to with uh, this specific method uh, just by replacing the files so um, so everyone can enjoy it fully without uh, troubles, I hope. So, um, on my Mac, I uh, run it uh, without problems on my AMD Radeon and on my uh, NVIDIA um, uh, 640M uh, iMac and my little NVIDIA uh, 9400M iMac uh, MacBook. Those, um, those three systems I checked and works fine. So I'm going to show you this. Um, I have an external um, um, disk drive um, on my uh, iMac because I have some thin one which doesn't include a DVD player anymore. So a good alternative is a, is a cheap uh, USB uh, CD player which will uh, help uh, installing uh, those older games. All right, well, first you need uh, the wrapper. Uh, if you click on download, uh, it, this will um, contain um, the wrapper and patch. This means if you open the, the folder, you will see the, the Age of Empires 2 wrapper, including the the FE um, update that's for, for Forgotten Empires. So what we first need to do is you first put in the, the disk of uh, Age of Empires 2. You have two different versions, or well, more version of things, but uh, you've got a collection DVD which I own as well, and the two CD, two CD version of uh, H5 Pies 2, and um, the DVD version is um, is available in most stores for uh, like uh, six bucks or something. Uh, it's the collection which contains H5 Pies 1, 2, uh, and uh, expansions. So. Um, to make um, the, the two CD versions the most common ones, so I will show you this version. Um, what you have to do is you will put the first CD in the drive uh, of the Windows game version, of course, uh, because um, porting is yeah, um, installing Windows game into uh, the wrapper, which makes you uh, available to play it on your Mac. <coughs> All right. Um, click on install Windows software. Choose uh, setup. Go to Age of Empires, um, and then you go to the Age of Empires setup exe file. Click allow. Cancel. Well, then the installation screen appears, click on install, continue, continue, <coughs> full install, <coughs> very important. <coughs> I'm having a cold, so um, that's the reason why I'm coughing. <coughs> Alright, this uh, takes a little while, so um, be back when the installation uh, ends, so be right back.
was on uh, the end of installation of the D1, and that's uh, the Age of Kings. And then we're gonna put uh, the second CD in the drive. Go to setup menu, click on exit. Well, that's the first installation. Um, all right. Then we click on install Windows Software again, and we have to eject the CD. I click uh, this one. Alright, CD pops out here. I put a second CD in the drive of the Conquerors. Alright. No executable. I go to uh, here, click on the setup of Age of Empires Conquerors. Install. Full install. No desktop icon. Install. Well, this will uh, take uh, another while, so uh, be right back. Also, at the end of this one too. There we go. Click on uh, setup menu, and we close it. And then, well. Um, we finished for a few seconds because uh, we're gonna now ver look very careful. Um, right click uh, the wrapper, show package content, go to C, program files, uh, Microsoft uh, HP Empires 2. Alright, we make this smaller, uh, like this. Then we go to the uh, Forgotten Empire update and we put it aside. And then we're gonna look, let's see here, is Vampires 2, okay, here another one. So we select those two files, and we move it into this one. So, then, we have the games, see if there's a games folder in it. Well, I expect not, so... You can put the whole folder into the into the game folder like this. So that's it. So now we're not finished yet because we have to set the start executable to the right executable, not empires2.exe, but we go to Microsoft Games, Age of Empires, we go to H2 blah blah, and then H2 underscore x2.exe ok, choose and then we're gonna check if the game starts up let's see if it does well, we've got this screen, you click accept and if correct it should launch normally well, this sounds good or well, at least familiar Ah, and I see this, all right. And I go to the options, uh, Paul, and then I, uh, hey, screen size, 90, 20, 000, 80, that's good. Okay. I'm gonna go to, uh, Barbarossa. Okay. go. Here we are. 90, 20, 1080. And does it work? Well, it works awesome. You see? Smooth as it should be. Zuh, huh?
or we can just kill one of our own. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's awesome. Uh, here we are. And I think this is how it men is meant to play. It. You can also play uh, multiplayer, of course, but then um, you need to um, quit current game. Yes, you need to use Hamashi, and um, it's also on a game page uh, described. Um, uh, you need to have um, the also turned off the firewall because otherwise you won't see the games. So make sure first no firewall. Second, um, um, uh, that you both, the person you want to play with, both have an Hamashi network or uh, the Hamashi for the Mac, and uh, that you have a network created with each other uh, using Hamashi, and uh, then you join IP address of Hamashi, and then one of you guys have to uh, create a multiplayer game. So um, click on uh, uh, create. And then it will create a, a multiplayer game for the first one, and the second one has to join, and can uh, join by IP, and then you can, um, then you can uh, have some fun. So <coughs> this version still has yes. the bug with uh, that you, after a game that when you want to close, that the game will hang. So um, you have to restart your um, the game using um, command uh, command alt uh, q or what i say um, control uh, command alt escape and then the game will just exit um, it is the way that um, um, well you have to restart of course if you want to play another multiplayer game but Multiplayer games takes about, well, what do you say, one and a half hour, at least with me, if I play multiplayer games, so, um, so hey, what the heck, a restarting once uh, after a multiplayer game, it's not that bad. Um, so, um, that's about it, so enjoy the game, um, see you back on Polytol.com, if you uh, love the work I do, you can always uh, uh, donate to the website using uh, the donate button here, or donate button here uh, to, um, to help me support uh, uh, all those uh, games. I try to to bring as much games as I can to to Mac, um, but it's a hobby project, so um, yeah, every help is welcome. So thank you for watching, and uh, see you back on Portal Car.